Welcome to Best Car Fixes. Today we have a Mercedes Benz 2015. I believe 15. The car running kind of funny. We change those sensors, we say. The two sensor here, I believe. And still we have some issue. We need to run a complete diagnosis before we take a decision what needs to be done. And we are going to use... Uh, okay. Welcome back and um, please subscribe, share and like. So we are going to use... Uh, there is no key in the system. Can I get the key? Can I get the key? I need the key. Okay, the key have to be inside. Oh, the key? So, yeah, you can sit. You want to sit inside? Sit. Okay. So now, uh, we are going to use Mercedes-Benz dealer tools to run the complete test. And that's X century. To run a complete test to this car to see what's going on. And then we're going to do a complete reset. As you see here, we have a park, a passenger side, airbag office. Okay, but the check engine light is on. X century is what the dealer used to diagnose, program, reset and it have a lot of troubleshooting and technical uh, service and component test functions this car is only, how many miles is it? 93 93 is supposed to be under warranty, you know? It's already gone it's over five years. There is a, a company named Shield. You hear yeah. about it? Yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna mess with them. I had. Okay. So I'm gonna wait for this one here. Mercedes Benz Accenture diagnosed. Now I'm going to go to Mercedes. And I will go by VIN. Passenger car. I will go by X century or vehicle VIN number detect. I'm going to go by VIN number. Okay, this is a car. Okay, I'm going to continue. This is the information. I'm going to click on X century again. I already have the VIN number there. Now we're going to communicate to see after six steps. Connect the vehicle, check the VIN number, coding, control unit, initialization, coding, control unit, and then we keep going. Okay, here I'm going to try to stop. Am I going to go to Oro maybe? Or where is the off here, my friend? Do what? To get off. You gotta go into it and do it. You gotta. So I cannot. No, you can't do off like that. From here, I have to open it and then do it from inside in the menu, right? Anyhow, let me just leave it now. And let me finish here first. Okay, quick start. Quick test. Okay, there's a whole car and do the reset for everything. Now we're gonna start to continue. The data is being read. Okay, let me 
the studs are cut now. I'm gonna start quick test. You see there is a misfire, I feel it. Quick test. <clears throat> I feel like misfire too. There's so many coals came up, it's ridiculous. I gotta reset everything, re zero it, and then see what happened. How many computers in this car? 63. 6? 63. 63? 63? Yeah. <laughs> Generally 63. It could be 40, something like that. But right now he shows 63. Now I'm coming and diagnose everything. 18 out of 63. All those are computers, wow. 51, yeah, 63 computers. Sound system, tuner unit, touchpad, air conditioning, left front door, right front door, rear front door. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see. <clears throat> but if you see here, bottom groove, fall, 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 fall. Continue or just too much. I said too much. <clears throat> mm, too much to start a battery excessive resistance. Communication is a battery sensor. <clears throat> Communication with battery sensor, general signal fault. Too much fault. Too much fault. I know I was driving one day and something came up in the, in the message sensor and said something with the battery and something yes, yes. popped up in the screen and said mm -hmm. something with the battery. Yeah, the battery. Yeah. And then it went away. It came up and it went away. Yeah. It never came back. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree with you. Yeah, I see the, the I see here, I say battery something. I see that one, yeah. <clears throat> it wasn't the, it wasn't the battery light. It was some kind of signal that came up and said something. It happened so quick and I couldn't even read it. And it never came back. <laughs> I see here, I say battery, battery something. Okay. This this here is a lot of quote. Some of them that lost communication. But I'm gonna go down there to see what else again. The air condition have anything? Yeah, stuff valve heating. The position sensor will actuate. I, on the engine, I don't have anything that's right now. It's a like uh, there is like really a problem that on it. On the engine here, it say it start a relay. Communication with a battery sensor. Communication with a control unit. Malfunction camera has ma you know camera has malfunctions. There is a, you know like I don't have anything that is more than three code on it. You know like. Uh, let me go to the engine again. No, this is no. This is for uh, for an 
Let me go now to the engine to see what happened. That one is a different story. Let me see what the engine can say now. <coughs> yeah. Okay, error code. On the engine. Yes. Electrical fuse for ignition coil has malfunction. Actuator of ignition switch, ignition coil one, has electrical fault open. Uh, actuation of coil number four, electrical fault open. Um, the actuation of ignition six. You change all this coil? I change one, three. Actuator, e exhaust, exhaust camshaft, cylinder one, bank one has short ground and those all these codes are current and available right now position sensor exhaust camshaft cylinder bank has electrical short come on that's too much that just happened out of nowhere it's just yeah you have one two three four five six seven eight nine and i had no codes before Control unit specification data supplement information for sources. Oh, if we need to fix this, okay. Let me see if I can go back to diagnosis. That's too much. clear everything we stop we start by clearing everything and see what's gonna come I'm doing the test and then from there Clear fault. I'm gonna reset everything in the system. Okay, now <clears throat> I'm gonna do quick test again. Or just let me see if I can get my computer. More electronic. Let me open it and see if those error is still available. Yes, brother. Yeah. Those uh Mahmoud went to the dealer, right? You need any help? So one of the things that we found that has a short the intake, the intake actuator. Both of them. You have a camera, I just want you to take this picture. And that thing, if it doesn't work good, it will create also the, the, the other codes. So we may need to do more. So you already have those actuators, they don't work correctly. Hold on, hold on, let me just get it back to the codes. Take the picture of these two codes. The P0 2800. Yeah. Yeah, click on it. They don't go away. Those codes here, the P20, P208800, 2090. P2090, 2090, and 2080. It's an exhaust actuator, exhaust camshaft cylinder bank one, and also intake camshaft cylinder number one. Those codes, they don't want to go away. Maybe power, 
maybe we don't have no power in it, maybe we don't have no ground on it, a more diagnosis on depths have to be taken on it. And this, this actuator can cause the car to misfire too sometimes, you know, like because it's like timing, if the timing is not okay, it could be. So the first thing you have to do, we need to work, to work on this, on these two quotes must be eliminated. You see now, they come back. Everything come back. P0. This side is bank one, the passenger or the driver. Hold on, hold on. Those quotes, they all come back. So you have the actuation of ignition coil one has electrical fault, open circuit. The actuation of coil number four, so you have one, four, six, and seven. And then you have two actuation, and then also the position sensor of intake camshaft and the position sensor of exhaust camshaft. And the actuation of, you know, like those are the code that giving us this problem. The camshaft ones? Yeah. Here is what happening now, my brother. Do you have another car to use? Because this car may stay with some, if we need to fix it for a little while. I you now have another car, this car you don't, we don't, we cannot take rush on it to try to see what's going on to fix it. Yeah. You got it? So if you need to fix it, those, those issues come back, that means it's really there, you may have to get another. So, uh, this is, uh, need a, a test plan, a create, we have to create a plan for it, if, or a technician that have to sit down on it and start working on it. Sometimes those actuators and positions it may cause by the timing from inside the timing chain. Mm -hmm. But this car is so new. Your oil is good, right? Into level. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the only thing in order for someone to work on this car, you have to look for another alternative till it fix. But it will not run the way you want. You got it? It will not run the way you want. If you want to use it and it's not good to, to drive it also. Okay. Thank you for watching Best Car Fixes. Please subscribe, share and like. And see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris.